Testing, testing, one, two, three. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Um, today's live, let's see. Give me a second before we get started. I wanted to talk about self-esteem. Um, and someone sent me this book uh, by Nathaniel Brandon. Hey, Mary. <laughs> And it turns out I need to work on a lot of these things, but it's called the book that uh, they sent me was called the six pillars of self-esteem. And I just barely got done with it today. So I was going to talk about, I guess like my take on self-esteem. Hey, Eskel. Hey, Sarah, Irina. So let's see, maybe before I get into some of your comments, then I will just kind of go over these pretty quick. So the six pillars, what they are, um, number one is living consciously. Number two is self-acceptance. Three, self-responsibility. Self, and then four is self-assertiveness. Uh, five is living purposely. And six is personal integrity. So I'm going to go over each of those. Hey, Crystal. Hey, Vianne. All right. So the first one uh, is called living consciously. And notice I say living consciously. So it's not enough to just be self-aware um, that like of your behaviors. So there's so many people, even in my day-to-day, -day, they're just like, well, at least I'm aware um, that I'm making these mistakes. But living consciously would mean something more like, um, sorry, you're just, you actually take in the good and the bad and you don't use like social media or um, addictions or whatever your coping mechanisms are to avoid um, yourself or real feelings. I'm sorry if I'm really boring right now, but I'm trying to explain all these things. <clears throat> I'm sorry I'm late. I was too busy taking my friends. Oh, you're good. I, we just started. Honestly, I love your background. The lights are so nice. Yeah, Chad, my husband got me all these lights. They're really cute. Um, his nephew got me one of them, actually. But let's see. So let me just make sure I didn't skip anything here. Let me look at my notes. So I'm losing my spot. So first of all, what is self-esteem? Self-esteem is um, the way we view ourselves. And you can't, none of us can escape self-esteem. And what healthy self-esteem is, it's not like someone that's boasting and has like a huge ego. In fact, someone with a healthy self-esteem doesn't need to do those things. They don't need to say anything because they know who they are and what they bring to the table. Don't forget the live... I forget what he's saying. Sorry. What is he saying? Don't forget to like the live. Oh, thanks, Eskel. Happy belated Valentine's. Oh, how was everyone's Valentine's? Did you guys have a good Valentine's? Hey, Ali Bubble. Thank you for posting that Valentine's box the other day. Um, and thank you for all of you guys that bought them. I had five people buy some. So that was awesome. All right. So number two, let's see, self-acceptance. This one uh, is the most important step for me. Um, actually, this one, I'm going to probably take a minute. Um, and since it's a story time live, let me tell you a story. So when I first, this is like eight years ago, I had roommates and I'm still trying to figure out answers of how the world works. And I was looking up videos about self-esteem and um one of my roommates was like, they're just, I was on YouTube looking up videos and they're just telling me, uh, th these videos are so weird. They're just pointing out the obvious, like we don't know. And I was like, um, I actually don't know. <laughs> I've never 
heard of these kind of topics. And so hopefully you guys all know this and this is purely for my benefit, but um, if not stick around, cause I think all of us could use some healthy self-esteem. I nearly forgot about Valentine's Day. Yeah, Valentine's Day. I got myself something really nice. I was going to show you guys, but it didn't show up yet. So I'll show you guys next time, I guess. One of these next times. Um, I might go visit Amanda and see if we can do something with her. But anyways, so I forget where we're at. Self-acceptance. Okay, yes. So self-acceptance... I think I want to go into um, this. I've never really spoke out loud about this. Maybe I have. Okay. So self-acceptance. Let's. So you've all. Have, I'm imagining everyone's been responsible for a child at some point, right? Um, and when you're responsible for that child, you want what's best for them. And like if they mess up, you don't like freak out at them or you kind of handle it like an adult would with like compassion. You understand, you, you try to correct the problem so that it doesn't happen again. So you actually, the thing is, there's someone when you're responsible for a child, you want what's best for them, right? But um. You've been responsible for someone this whole time, and that's you. And you're that child that you've always been responsible for. And I hope I'm explaining this good enough for you guys. And it's not just too boring. I have been, I've been really trying to help my niece lately. I feel that Eskel. What did Eskel say? I hate, I hate relationships and Valentine's Day puts. A lot of pressure on me and then I'm not in a relationship. Oh, I used to skip uh, Valentine's Day dates because of that. I didn't like, but um, yeah, so uh, I guess on self-acceptance, you really just how I want to go into self-love with this because and a lot of people don't realize that you want to love yourself before you can love anyone else. And I'm going to do a whole circle around of why I believe that's true. Um, because for you to truly love yourself, what that looks like to me is you basically, you take responsibility for your life and your childhood, your adulthood. Uh, anyways, man, I should have left like kept better notes. I'm just trying to wing it here. <laughs> but um, basically it's irresponsible for you as a parent to not take care of your child's needs. Just like it's irresponsible for you as an adult to not take care of your needs and your health and your self-esteem. So 100%, you have a lot... You have to love yourself first. Yes. And the reason why you got to love yourself first, um, in my opinion, is because once you learn to love and accept all of yourself, the flaws and all, and you truly want what's best for you and um, that inner child, then I believe that you're getting, now you're capable of, loving another person in that way when you don't love yourself then you're just giving to this other person right and not even fully conscious going back to the last step where you want to live consciously because i've seen people give more than they should have and then they react and they're not even conscious of their reactions and so because naturally when you give something you want even you want some kind of acknowledgement that they or love back right but if you love yourself you know yourself and you're living consciously you're going to make those decisions knowing your own 
limits, like your own boundaries, and you're not going to over give to where that you're going to become bitter. And oh, the last thing you want in a relationship is bitterness. Um, because that's where things go downhill. But um, yeah, so that self-acceptance is a really big one. It's really important for like all the rest of these. All right, so let's go to the next one. Let's see, self-responsibility. Okay, yeah, so in this book, there's actually a chapter. Um, I think it's called, No One is Coming to Save You. And so what would you do if whatever situation you're in right now, no one's saving you from this. Like it's purely on your back. Like this is all on your shoulders, this life. Um, and this little person that's you, your inner child, you're the only one that's going to fix their situation. So part of that self-love is... Maybe it's not always fun. Maybe it's some tough love. Like you have to um, go to bed early because you need to get up in the morning and maybe you want to go to the gym. I don't know. But yeah, sometimes self-care and self-love is not easy. It is just you're doing what's best for you like a parent would for a child. Um, so yeah. Yeah. Cause this life is your responsibility. No one's going to rescue you. And if you're going to sit around and wait for someone to rescue you, it's just going to be a long wait and you're going to be really disappointed and have a lot of bitterness at the rest of the world. So I'm sorry for being so serious this time, but I was just like, this is a topic I clearly need. Cause when I get on camera, you guys know I'm like embarrassed, which is really weird. Cause like in my house, I do okay, but it's interesting how we have self-esteem in one area and not another. But all of us could use more health um, self-esteem. Let's see. Hey, Denise. Uh, let's see. Happy Valentine's Day. Using the statements, I expressed yourself instead. Oh, let's see. Sorry, I'm not like... saying you are too much such as such i say frustrated when you such and such do i say maybe i do i don't know but um okay my friend is by oh yeah it's hard when they have uh mental health things going on let's see so yeah we're on three where, well, we're, okay. Okay, self-assertiveness is four. That's where we're moving on to. Um, let me just see what I have here for that one. Okay, assertive people are able to express their opinions and needs clearly without upsetting other people or becoming upset themselves. Um, they speak firmly about their opinions and demands and rights that they believe they should have. So um, I think the LGBT community has done pretty good as far as the gay side of that, speaking up and being assertive. And hopefully I can learn from them. Let's see what else we got here. Another thing about being self-assertive is um, becoming confident, competent in the things that you want to do in life. And yes, Chad is in the chat. Oh, he is? I didn't see him. Oh. He's a member now. Wow. That means he can do the uh, unicorn emojis. I think they look like, um, how do we, how do they look? They kind of look like that. There's, those are some of the emojis we got. So now you can do those. 
I've been told that I am assertive. That's what happens when you're the only child of people pleasing parents. Well, see, we probably all have some of these qualities. We just have to be like more um, conscious of them, I guess. Like, I think I'm really good at um, two, like self acceptance, but doesn't mean I'm good at anything else on this list. <laughs> But anyways, all right, so we got self-assertiveness. Next one is living purposely. Let's see what that one's about. Okay, so living purposely or living or acting intentionally to looks different for each person. But basically, um, for me, it's like finding purpose. And like right now, what my purpose is, is this YouTube, like getting better at expressing my feelings and talking to you guys on camera and hopefully bringing value to our little community, as well as I'm really enjoying getting into like self, my own self help care products and so I got the sugar scrubs, but now I'm going to, I'm experimenting and this is comfrey infused oil that I'm getting ready to do my own, um, what is it called? Body butters. But I'm just going to make sure before I sell it that it's good. I'm going to test the pH and maybe I don't sell it. Maybe it's just for me, but we'll see. I think it's really fun. Like in the order, we didn't really have a lot of, I didn't, I guess I should speak for myself. Um, I was just put to work. There wasn't room for creativity or self-love. And that's why those things are so important to me is because that wasn't something that I ever really got to put energy into. And even when I left, it was all about survival. So this is really like a time in my life when I'm kind of, going back to my childhood or inner child. And I'm just like, okay, hey, you want to watch Avatar? We're going to watch Avatar The Last Airbender. And I'll talk more about that um, next week. But let's see. Oh, the sugar scrubs are great. Thank you, Star Trip Trooper. I just, I'm glad you caught this live. I saw your message on, what is it called? I don't even know social media. Instagram. All right. Hey, Todd. Hi, Chad. Let's see what Chad says. I'm going to blast his comment. Just here to see my husband. Love you, sweetheart. Oh, what a sweetheart. Okay, so let's see. What, what else do we got? We're almost done. Living purposely, acting intentionally. Yeah, so do what... Basically you want to be going for college or whatever it is you do. You want to do act intentionally to get to where you want to go. All right. And so the last one is personal integrity. And I think this one's really important because it's, it kind of rounds you back to the beginning, to the step one, to make sure you, it's like holding up a mirror and making sure you did all the steps, right? Uh, because uh, it's like, if you lived by your own morals and you um, you acted in such a way that you're is the person that you want to be or the person you want to become or represent, then then you go back to step one and you're like living consciously. All right, that's check. You're done. You did it. Uh, self acceptance. It's easier to accept yourself when you're living by your own principles and self-responsibility. Like you've already done it. You've So yeah, you know what you're responsible for and you've done it. And then, yeah. So yeah, that last step is just basically, it's like holding up a mirror and you just have your own personal integrity. And I know I butchered these, but there's a book. It's called The Six Pillars of Self-Esteem. 
And I really enjoyed it. There's some exercises I'm going to try these next few days and see how it goes. Because I need to work on my self-esteem. <laughs> but yeah, I will start reading your comments. What else do you guys think about self-esteem or how to get healthy self-esteem? Put it in the comments. Or if you're here, we can discuss it now. And I'll start reading your comments. Um, let's see. I think grounding with Mother Nature outside of oh yeah that's a good one because we we do distract ourselves a lot rather than like facing our issues i know with me i get overwhelmed and so then i don't want to work on i guess youtube videos i would rather just go i don't know eat or do something just scroll on tiktok waste my time because maybe doing a video is too hard but ultimately, all I want is to um, distract myself, which I don't. That's not what we want to do. So get with nature, like you said. Uh, let's see. Hello, all. I am too busy, too shy. Chad's saying he's too shy to come on. Smell amazing and it makes my skin super soft. Probably my favorite unicorn product. Let's see. Thank you for your advice. Thank you, Taylor, for listening. I hope it wasn't too painful. I know I am going to get better at being confident on camera. I'm going to do it. It'll just. Okay, I want to see what Vianne says. She says, when you act outside of your own values and such, it hurt. It haunts you in like the long run. It's worse than not doing the easy thing. It took me too long to realize that. Yeah. Uh, do you think the mirror thing actually helps self confidence? Oh, so yeah, you forget about the self acceptance. So that that's part of the steps you have to accept the good and the bad. Like I'm not one of those toxic positive promoters where it's just like, Oh, I'll sunshine and rainbows all the time no in fact it's like it's almost like not like that i would rather accept the pain and the the hurt so that you can you accept it and then you move forward so yeah i do think holding the mirror up actually helps with self-confidence but only if you're able to accept the flaws that are there. Um, let's see. Myself by eager guess. Hey, Brooke. Let's see. So any final thoughts before I go? I'm just getting shy tonight. I thought I was more ready for this, but basically I just think you got to take care of yourself and love yourself and accept the good and the bad and take responsibility for your situation. So like if you're in a bad situation and you are too afraid to get out of it, um, no one's going to rescue you. You got to do this. You got to handle it. This is your life. All right. Let's see. Okay. Watching Secrets of Polygamy. Hope to see you, Val. See, hope to see Val. Not yet. So um, the one that was just on, I know I had Marianne, Luann, and there was one other person. It was actually really good. If you guys haven't seen it, I would recommend it. Um, do you? You do an amazing job, Val. Um, I, I do okay. There's good and bad. I recognize the the stutters I have. And the, but I really appreciate you guys for helping me through this. Because this is going to get me where I need to go. I don't know where that is, but... I have to get comfortable with in my own skin and this is helping me do that. So 
Great to see you and agree sugar scrubs have been a part of my self-care. I'm glad to see that. I didn't even know that I was going to like sugar scrubs, but I am excited for the body butter that's not even close to be released, but it's maybe a month from now. We love hanging out with you, Val. Thank you, Crystal. Um, Let's see. I wonder if there's like a, I have to learn how to use this better. All right, well, I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye, guys. Are you going to be on Secrets of Polygamy? Yes. I will be on, I don't know what day it'll be on, but I'll, I'll make sure and let you like talk about it afterwards, if answer whatever questions that I can. Um, but yeah, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.